Hey, this is Safevari from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement of the winner takes it all by ABBA. Now, I made this arrangement and this is very special because uh, I made it for someone who purchased a private guitar lesson uh, on the website. And after learning this, she has agreed to share this arrangement with the rest of you uh, for your enjoyment. So you've got her to thank and I thank you personally for agreeing to share this with the rest of Lick and Riff's viewership. So, let me play it for you first and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick as usual with tabs on the screen and everything. It goes like this. So as you've seen, you've got the intro, you've got the verse, and you've got the chorus. Now the chorus also incorporates the intro within it. So let's begin. It's got, um, it's got a, just a few chords. It's got G, it's got D, it's got A minor, it's got E minor, and it's also got D7. Just for a second there and um, D over F sharp, which is basically an inversion of the D chord, and it's got a minor here as well. D minor shaped uh, with the first finger on eight. Okay, we're gonna get to that. So, um, let's begin. The intro begins with this, this um, voicing of G. Okay, with your first finger on three on the bass and your pinky on seven on the E string. But you don't play seven first, you play eight uh, because the intro goes like this. Okay, so um, you're gonna have to stretch your fingers a little. Now, if you can do this, okay, if you can't reach both three and eight, then you can let the, the G bass go just for a second when you play the C note, okay? You can play, you can do it like this, okay? I exaggerate um, in purpose, um, okay? You take the finger off and then put it back on, okay? You don't have to take it off all the way, uh, you just stop pressing. Okay, you just stop pressing for a second. Okay, you leave it as close to the string as possible. Okay, so how do you play this? You play the bass and the G string, and then eight on the E string, then again, bass and G string, seven, 
then bass and G string again, and five. Then the bass and the G string again, and three. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then just four notes. You can pick any four notes out of the G chord. Okay, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, you've got four notes to pick, just pick any four notes. And then um, E minor. Now, uh, we don't play the A and D strings, so we don't put anything on, and we play this. Okay, it's the same thing, the bass note, uh, the, the E bass, the bass note and the G string, and then five, and then again with three, then again with two, then again with the open E string. Five, three, two, open E string. And then any four notes you want. And then this. Okay, this is A minor. A bass and D minor with your first finger on eight. Okay, D minor shape because it's D E F G A. Okay, and it's minor, so it's D minor, E minor, F minor, G minor, A minor. So, um, and again, the A bass, the G string on nine, and then you play eight because that's where your finger is and then you take the finger to seven. Oh no excuse me i forgot you add the pinky on ten and you begin on ten ten take the pinky off and then it's eight then seven then it's the second string on ten Okay, so okay. Um, again, bass note, G string, and then ten, eight, seven, uh, second string on ten, and then any four notes you want out of the chord. Any four notes you want to pick. Uh, you, you can even pick two notes. You don't have to pick dum 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 dum. You can do boom dum. Okay, just a light touch of the chord, just the bass note and one more note. Okay, instead of eighth notes, you play quarter notes. Um, it's your choice. Make your own arrangement of this. I, I'm just showing you the melody. You don't have to play what I play. Um, last chord of the intro, D, and you play, okay, this is, um, again, same thing, D bass, G string, G string on two this time, it's in the chord, and on the E string, three, two, zero, which are D sus four, D and D sus two, if you want to get technical about it. And then the B string on three, again inside the chord. So, three, two, zero, B string on three. Got it? So again, G, eight, seven, five, three, E minor, um, seven, no, five, five, Three, two, zero, A minor, ten, seven, uh, eight. It's confusing to explain, to, to say numbers out loud and play at the same time. You try, it's not as easy as it looks. Um, apparently, so is talking. Anyway, ten, eight, seven, ten on the B string. D. Three, two, zero, three on the B string. Okay? 
Now, slowly, without talking. was uh, I just picked the B string along with um, along with the melody notes okay with the C note it, it's kind of dissonant but with the B note it's an octave okay and then it's just the chord um, okay you can harmonize with the B string if you want don't do it all the time just just pick it every now and then. Okay? Just use the B string as, um, as an embellishment. Verse. Now the verse is pretty easy. Um, it's... Okay? It's uh, 0, 1, 3 on the B string, open E string, and then the B string and you play a G chord. Okay, you've got an entire bar to fill, so you just fill it in any way you want. Okay, you can pick any strings you like, you can use any rhythm you like, as long as you think it sounds good. Okay? It works as well. That was an exaggeration. Okay? You can do anything you want with the bar. So, 0, 1, 3, E string, B string, G chord. And then, Again, 0, 1, 3 on the B string, open E string, then um, it's the open E string again, but prepare the uh, D over F sharp only with an open E string, so it's D sus2 over F sharp. Okay, now uh, the way you pick this, um, by the way, if it's D sus2 over F sharp, then it's technically D add 9, because you've got the third note in the bass. So it's D add 9 over, C sharp, over F sharp. Um, but again, it's just a D chord. So uh, technically it's a D chord because the melody is built on, upon a D chord. Okay? So um, technically you're on D, but if you want to get really technical, then this is a form of, it's a, it's a voicing of D at 9. Okay, as long as you play the F sharp on the bass. Okay, so, um, so you play the E bass, and then you play the, the, um, the F sharp bass, two on the, uh, on the E bass. Now you can uh, put your first finger on you can use the thumb, I like to use the thumb, you don't have to if it's not comfortable for you. Um, and then you play the E string, then the uh, D string or the G string, either one or both. Okay, it works. And then the B string, okay, on three, because um, that makes it uh, in correct timing. You play the E string, okay, and then bass, one more note, and then the B string, okay? So it's... Got it? Uh, and then you've got the rest of the bar to fill, again. So... Pick it. 
um, you can change it every time you play as long as you just keep the chord going. And then it's this. Okay, it's 3-1-0 on the B string, 2 on the G string. Now you play the A note, 2 on the G string, you play it with your third finger and you put on the A minor chord. Okay, so it's A minor ready, and then 1 on the B string inside the chord and the A bass. And then you just, again, Complete the bar in any way you like. And then same line again. This time you end on D7. Okay, it's the same line, 3, 1, 0, 2 on the G string, 1 on the B string, this time inside the D7 chord. Okay? Um, I like to end on a strum because it's dramatic. Um, again, you're done with the verse, by the way. Told you it was relatively easy. Um, G. D over F sharp. A minor. Let's play it together slowly. Can you play this twice? Now for the chorus. Now the chorus, um, the chorus has a melody line and then the corresponding uh, line from the intro. Okay, you play this. Um, and then you play the G line from the intro. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, okay. Um, anyway, then the same thing with E minor. Um, um, and then the same thing with A minor. Then the same thing with D, and this time you play a different form of the D chord. Uh, let me just show you. Um, why? to keep this note ringing, okay? Because if I moved here, then the, the chord I was playing would have been cut off, and that doesn't sound good. Let me show you what I mean. Okay? You need to cut off the entire chord, okay? And it sounds, sounds bad, it sounds like a record just skipped or a CD just skipped, or an MP3 file was corrupt, or something on YouTube hasn't streamed well. Um, okay, let's begin. Um, you play this. 1-1 one, one on the B string. With your pinky, 8-8 eight, eight on the E string, 7-7 seven, seven on the... E string, and then you play the G line from the intro, okay? This time, when you play the G note on three, you play the open G string along with it, and then you, G, no, you play the open B string along with it, and then you play the B string again. Why? Because that's the beginning of the next melody line. Because the next melody line is this. Okay, so it's... Okay? Um, 
the next melody line is open B string twice, 5-5-3-3 five, five, three, three on the E string, okay, and with the second G uh, note you play the E bass and then you play the corresponding line from the intro, you play the E minor line, okay? Okay, so again, G. Um, twice because that's the next line. Okay? So it's... Okay, and so the, the chorus and the intro lines blend in together. I hope you can hear it. If not, then I'm gonna play it enough times so you will be able to hear it eventually. Um, for now, just trust me and let's go over this first before we play it over and over again. Um, so now we're in A minor, so it's open E string twice. We've already played that after the E minor, at the end of the E minor line. Then 10 10 on the E string, then 8 8 on the E string, and you build the A minor chord, D minor shaped again and play the A bass, okay? So it's... And then the intro line. And then this. Okay, now except for the, um, the end note there, the C note, um, it's seven, eight on the E string, 10 on the B string, 7 on the E string, and then you change positions, okay? So it's... And then you change into this, okay? Um, small bar, half bar, on 7 on the E, B, and G strings, okay? And your third finger, not your second finger, your third finger, you're gonna need the second finger in a second. Uh, your third finger on eight on the E string, okay? With the D uh, bass. Now this is D7, okay? Because this is D and this is D7. So this is D7. Um, now it's the C note, 8, on the E string with the D bass, and then you keep this note ringing and you play uh, with your second finger, uh, I told you you were going to need it, um, you play with your second finger on the B string, 8, then 7, with the bar, and then with your pinky, 9 on the G string, take it off, and 7 on the G string with the bar. Okay, so it's 8 7 on the B string, 9 7 on the G string. Okay, and try to keep this note still ringing. Okay, so it's. Um, Now with the rhythm. Okay? Again, D string, G string, melody note, D string, G string, melody note. Now when the melody note is on the G string, you don't play the G string. Or you can play the G string and then the melody note. Or just the G string twice. So Okay, this is G string twice, once on seven, once on nine. Okay, now you can skip the G string, as I said. So, uh, let's repeat this. One, one, eight, eight, seven, seven, G line. B string, 
five five three three E line, E minor. Zero zero ten ten eight eight A minor. Seven eight ten on the B string. Seven eight change into the D seven position. Eight seven nine seven, and then you begin again. Okay, the verse. Uh, let's play this slowly. B string. because the B note is inside the G chord and it's easy to, um, to ignore it. But the B string is your melody note also, so um, I want you to hear that it's there. Okay? Um, so that's it. You're done with uh, the winner takes it all. Um, now again, let's thank the, the, um, the student who bought this arrangement for the private uh, guitar coaching session. Um, again, thank you so much for sharing this with everyone. Uh, before you go, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons. They're all for free, will always be free. Go download the tab from the website. The link is in the description. Uh, the tab is also free, but in case you want to give something back, there's a donation button, and I'd be very, very grateful for any donation whatsoever. If you want to buy the dogs a biscuit, they'd be very happy as well. Anyway, uh, you go practice this, get it under your fingers, have fun, and uh, remember, make your own arrangement of this. Don't copy what I do. Be your own musician. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.